right, this one here, I just thought about this actually. This is one that I've been meaning to talk about for a long time now. It started out maybe about a month and a half ago, I was talking about in one of these forums uh, about Cyclops. Cyclops to me is one of the coolest M characters out there. The dude, the dude is usually right about a lot of stuff, but after, after the whole Phoenix Force, X versus uh, Avengers versus X-Men, a versus X, as it all that all that crap started out, and he killed Professor Xavier, and now he's a part of the uh, the, the new X Men. What the hell are they called? Is it is it the Ultimate X Men? It's not the Uncanny X Men. That's that's not right. It's a new X Men team that he formed up with Magneto and Magic and Emma Frost. I know I know the comic book. I just can't think of the damn name of it. I know they changed it, but. He's a part of this little group now. He's kind of like an anti-hero now, but he's still standing for the same purposes that he did before, but apparently he's going about it the same way that Magneto did, but he's not killing anybody except for Professor Xavier. A lot of people think that Cyclops, they think that Cyclops is, uh, is a shitty leader, he's a crappy character, and all he does is whine. I can relate to Cyclops a lot, because Cyclops is a mutant. He was adopted, his, uh, his father, he thought his parents were dead. He was like just either like disappeared or died on him. He found out he had like a long lost brother. Then he found out he had like an even longer lost brother. Cause fucking Chuck, Charles Xavier lied to him about it. So, like I get Cyclops. I understand like his pain and struggle and people give him so much shit for being like, for just, for wanting to save the mutant race. And then he calls out Captain America in the Avengers for not doing enough for mutant rights. And I get that. Like I get like that, that he's pissed off about that shit. Cause I would be pissed off also. Like I know you're helping out the world cap, you and Iron Man and Hawkeye, you guys are doing all this shit to the Avengers. But what about the, what about the mutants who are getting like persecuted every day? Like you can go on TV and say, stop killing mutants. You can tell the people to do that. Cause they listen to you. Cause you're Captain America. And I, I brought this discussion up in a forum and people are like, well, that's not Captain America's job to do stuff like that, but it happens in America. And then they went on to say that, well, he's he's defending the world all the time. He can't take like a day to help out mutants. In a way, Captain America is, is kind of like a mutant also. I know he has that super soldier serum inside of him, but if people didn't know that, they would probably consider him a mutant as well. He just wears a flashy color like costume with the red, white, and blue on it, blue eyes and blonde hair. He's more acceptable than like the word mutant to people. And I get what like a probably a lot of you guys are thinking like, oh, he's black. That's why he relates so much to it. That's not exactly why I relate to it. I mean, yeah, that's that's points of it as to why I relate to that. But there's more to it than that. It's just the dude trying to fight for what he believes is right, and. He calls out to one of the greatest superheroes in that universe to help him out. And he doesn't. And the other, like instead, he gets like attacked by all the other Avengers because he's trying to help out the entire fucking world. And I know that Scott and Colossus, Magic, Namor, and like fucking the White Queen, Emma Frost, I know they all did a lot of bad shit with the Phoenix Force. I know they did. It did a lot of bad stuff when it had the Phoenix Force inside of him. But even Gene has said that when the Phoenix takes over you, that's kind of it. Like, it just takes over. You don't, you don't know what, like, what you're doing when the Phoenix Force is inside of you. And Scott had all of it inside of him when he killed Professor Xavier. So, I mean, come on. Cut, cut Cyclops and Slack. Like, I hope some of you guys agree with me about Cyclops. That he's actually, like, an awesome guy. A fictional character, I get that, but he's like an awesome fictional character. He stands for something. And I'm not I'm not bashing on Captain America. I love Captain America. He's probably like my favorite Marvel superhero is Captain America. Like dude, like honestly, he's a Marvel Batman. Except for the fact that he has powers. But he's a Marvel Batman and I love Captain America. I know some of you guys may, may blame that on bad writing, that Captain America never helped out Cyclops, but I'm just wondering, what, what do you guys think? Do you guys think that Captain America did more for mutant rights, or 
Or is Cyclops really just an asshole? Is he just like a loser asshole that a lot of people shouldn't like and should not be a part of comics? Or should he just should he just be the new Magneto and just be a villain? Let me know. I hope you guys don't say that he should be a villain because I like Cyclops. <laughs> Alright, until next time.